Okay, so in iMovie, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and make a new project. Got this little plus button down here. We're just going to click it. And it'll pop up this screen. And you'll give your project a name. And you can change this name later. It doesn't have to be anything fancy right now. It's very easy to change. But over here on this side, you have themes. And we're going to set it to no theme. For a documentary, you don't want to use a theme. We do not want to automatically add any transitions, so we're going to make sure this little box down here is unclicked. We do not want that checked. We want it unchecked. Wide screen, that's always a good option. You don't want to set it to standard. And we're just going to click Create. It'll make our project. And once we're in here, we're going to go ahead and start adding in our elements. Over here on our sidebar here is our little bar that lets us add elements to our video. So we have text screens, transitions, pictures, and music. First thing we're going to do is go to pictures. And see, it opens up and it has iPhoto. And then you can scroll down and find the album that you made. And in it is the picture that we imported. So we're just going to drag that in. Really all that simple. Just drag it in. So now there's, there's our picture. We're not going to add any others for this one, although obviously you would want to add more. But they would all be there. You just drag them in. Now we're going to add a text screen. I want to add a title. Now on the titles, there are all different kinds of effects they have. Scrolling, drifting in, all different kinds. I kind of like this drifting one for a title, so I'm just going to take it. You don't want to put it on the blue. If you drag it on top of a picture and it's blue, the text will be on top of the photo. That's helpful sometimes, but for right now, I'm going to drag it in front of the picture to where there's a green bar, and I'm just going to drop it. Now you have the option to add a background to your text. You have to choose what you want. There aren't all that many options. Um, let's just pick... I'm kind of liking this gray, so I'm just going to do that and we'll click it and it'll put it in. Now you add your title. Now as you can see that's much too big. It won't all show. So I'm going to double click it to edit. I'm going to go up here where it says show fonts and it'll pop up the iMovie font inspector change color, size, anything you want. I'm going to fix the color. I want to make it black. So I'll click that. I like the font it chose. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down here where it says system font panel. I'm going to click that and that pops up the font inspector that you're used to if you've been working on Apple. You can change size, anything you want. I like the large size on the top but on the bottom I want to make it a little bit smaller so it all shows. So that's good. I like that. And we're just going to click done. And there you go. You have a title. And if you put your mouse at the beginning and scroll through it, you can see what it does. Now we're going to add credits at the end. I just like to use the scrolling credits. You can use whatever you like, though. I'm going to drag it to the end. Again, we had a green bar. I'm going to stick with gray. Continuity is always good. OK, there we go. So we're just going to click done. And that's it. But that's not a video, is it? No. So we have a title, we have a picture, and we have credits. Now we need to add transitions. I'm going to go over here to the sidebar, click Transitions, and you have all these different transitions. It's usually best to stick with these top three, Cross Dissolve, Cross Blur, and Fade to Black. I'm very partial to Fade to Black. It's very good for ending a video and for moving between text screens and images. So all you're going to do is drag it up the same way you did text to the green bar. Drag it up and drop it. Now if I was going between two images, I would probably go with either cross dissolve or cross blur depending on what mood I was going for. Cross dissolve is a little sharper, cross blur is a little softer image. I'm just going to go fade to black for all three of mine. Now I want to make this one a little bit longer, so I'm going to double click on it. 
OK. Up here, you can either edit all your transitions at once or you can just edit one of them. I just want to edit one of them at this time, so I'm going to unclick this checkbox here. I'm going to unclick that. Duration, I just want to make it a little bit longer. So I'm going to make it 0.6 instead of 0.4. Click Done, and that's it. That's how you edit it. Now, I forgot something. When I made my credits, I left it as white. I do not want it to be white. So I'm going to click on this, just one click. Go over here, click once. It'll highlight all of your text. Show fonts. I'm going to go down to where it says iMovie font panel. Switch back to that so I can change color. And then, because it has this weird white outline thing, I'm going to unclick the outline button down here and click done. And there it goes. That's how I want it to look. Much better. So I have a title, I have a transition, a picture, a transition, and credits. But there's something wrong with my picture. It doesn't look right, does it? I'm going to select it. Once you select it, go down here to where it has this little button where it says crop, comma, rotate, and Ken Burns. We're going to click on that. It'll pop up a screen where you can either click fit, and it'll just leave the picture as it is, crop the picture, it'll leave the picture as it is, but it'll crop it down. Or you can click Ken Burns. I'm going to click Ken Burns and I'm going to set it so that it starts pretty tight. It's on just the picture. I don't want any extraneous dead space. So I'm going to move that there. Good. Now I'm going to click on the end box and make it smaller because I don't want it to get bigger, I want it to get smaller. So I'm going to move it over. Now you see this little yellow arrow in the middle. It's going from a green plus to a red plus. That shows which way your picture will be moving during the video. You want it to have a very definite angle. Like if I set it like this, it's not quite straight across, but it's not at an angle either. It's just kind of somewhere in the middle. That's not good. You either want it to have a very definite angle like that, or be straight. I don't want it to be straight, so I'm going to give it a nice angle here. About like that. Now, if we go up here where it says play, it'll play just that and it'll show us what it does. And I like that. So I'm going to click done. So I have title, transition, picture with Ken Burns, another transition, credits, and a closing transition. Good. Now we need sound. We're going to go to here where it says music. Click on that. And we're going to go to iTunes. We're going to scroll down to the playlist that we made. And we're going to drag in our voiceover. Just going to click it and drag it in. Drag it to wherever you want it to start. I want to start with the picture, so I'm going to drag it to the beginning of the picture. Do not let it go to a green screen. Don't do that. Drag it to the picture itself. Just drop it on. Now you notice it clipped it. Don't worry about that yet. We're going to go ahead and put in our background music as well. I'm going to go ahead and get that in. So I'm going to pick my music and drag it in. This I want to start at the beginning of my title. So I'm going to drag it to the beginning of the title. Drop it. There we go. Very good. Now, there's one thing you can do. If you want to hear the sound as you scroll through it with your mouse, you can go up here to view, audio skimming, and click that so it's checked. And you'll hear the sound as you scroll through it with your mouse. But if you don't want to hear that, which I don't, you can just unclick that. So now what we need to do is make our picture longer so that we can hear the whole voiceover while the picture is up. We're going to double click on the picture. It'll open in clip. Duration. Make sure applies to all stills is not checked. We're going to set the duration to 10 seconds because that's how long the voiceover is. Now, the voiceover didn't lengthen back out. So we're going to go to voiceover. We're going to go to this little gear. We're going to go to clip trimmer. 
and we're going to drag this yellow bar to the end of where the sound is. Not all the way to the end because that will leave dead space. Just to the end of the sound. You can see these mountains here where the peak ends. That's where your sound is ending. So we'll just click done and there you go. Now we're going to do the same thing on our music. You can see as we drag that it moves the red bar up the top to where it'll end. Now there's a fade down here. And yes, it does. It fades down very nicely right to the end. Well, not quite to the end. So I'm going to have to make something a little bit longer to make my music fit it just right. We can fiddle with that in a minute. So now we have a voiceover in, background music, title, picture, credits. Let's play it and see how it sounds. To play it, you're going to take your mouse and put it at the beginning of the video, the red bar, and then just click your spacebar button and it'll begin playing. In the small German controlled town of Bremen, Norway, you can see a German concentration camp set up during World War II by the Nazis. Hold it! That's not good. The music was almost as loud as my voiceover. You can barely hear it. That's a problem. So we're going to go to the voiceover. We're going to double click it. We're going to go to where it says audio. We're going to click on that. And we're going to go where it says ducking. We're going to click that box. Don't want it to go down to 15%. That's much too low. But you can see it moves the bar. Let's set it to about 40 and see what that sounds like. You're going to hit your space bar again, and it'll just continue playing. A German concentration camp set up during World War II by the Nazis. Much better. Okay, that's good. So we're just going to click Done, and that's that. Now, let's finish watching it and see how the end sounds. Nazis. Now, the end sounded pretty good. But we want to add a fade so it fades off very nicely and smoothly. So we're going to double click on the music. We're going to click on audio again, but this time we're going to click on fade out. We're going to click that and we're going to make it a little bit longer. I like to set it to about a second, but that just depends on where you want it. We're going to click done, go about halfway through the credits and just hear how it sounds much better. Oops, I almost restarted. Okay, so that looks pretty good. And the credits grow at a nice rate. So I think we're good. We just made a video. That was pretty easy. Now there's one more thing we have to do. We have to get it out of iMovie and onto the computer where we can share it, post it to YouTube, whatever. You're going to go up to where it says share there is a share to YouTube button, but I found that that button does not work very well. So we're going to go ahead and export movie. Okay. Just going to leave its name, or if you want to change it, whatever. Select where you want to export it to. And what size you export to depends on what you're going to do with it. But generally, the larger you export it, the better it's going to be. So I'm going to export mine at HD 1080p. It's the largest size you can export to. It also takes the longest, but it really gives the best picture. So if you can go with a large size like 1080p, that's probably your best bet. So we're just going to click export and it'll give us an estimate and it'll probably take a while. Oh, it's only taking less than a minute. Well, that's unusual. I guess it's just because we have a really short video. Normally, because we chose a large size, it would take a long time. And there we go. It's uploaded. You can see I put it to export to my desktop, so it's right there. And that's really all it is. We just made a video. That was fun. Mm -hmm.